very good afternoon my friends how are you hope you guys are doing very well and welcome on this new weekly market analysis video from extreme trader this is Salah speaking again another great week and very good results we had in the premium group as you can see we were able to end the last week in total of 301 pips of profit and the first thing we can notice here is the losses are very limited and under control there is a reason for that because our service has been improved way much better than in the past let me just take you through the premium group this is this is the premium group and what we can see here is we are sending the notifications to everyone in the group telling them that the trade has hidden take profit one with 20 pips for example or take profit two or three and in case we are seeing a trade going against our signal we will send the message to everyone to close the trade right now with the minimum losses possible so that way we can minimize the losses and we can actually uh, enhance the profits so total on Friday we ended the day in total of 160 pips of profit I mean that's really awesome that's amazing uh, let's see the messages from the members who have joined the group recently we can see this guy here he's saying that he have made uh, 300 euros by our signals so the $50 in a month for the premium group is definitely worth it that is what I'm working for that is what I really want to see from the members that they are really happy and glad and thankful to join the service we are providing uh, this guy here let me just show you also uh, he sent a message that uh, he has been in losses for two years until he finally have joined extreme group uh, for signals and now he's uh, thankfully finally in good profits uh, this guy also I think he's doing uh, good job also with our signals he's just here sending messages to angela uh, this guy here ha he have made 40 dollars or i think 46 dollars profit from two trades amazing signals so far uh, this guy also he started the account with 750 dollars and right now it's on uh, 823 dollars so i think it's in just one day he have made this good profit so thankfully everyone is really happy and thankful for joining the service and again that is what i want to see and that is what makes me really happy and proud of our service of the premium group so if you wish to join the extreme trader premium group please don't hesitate to contact angela you can find her contact details of telegram in the description below this video contact her today and hopefully we will see you all there my friends so now let's start the weekly analysis and as usual let's start with the euro usd uh, we can notice on the euro usd that we had some really good jump on the euro usd breaking out from this previous resistance and the support and of course uh, it's important to mention to you that this strong bullish momentum happened on the euro usd it was due to the news of uh, the flash manufacturing PMI and it was really bad for the US dollar and therefore it made this strong uh, bullish momentum on the euro USD now what happening here is if I'm, if I'm not mistaken uh, if, you, if you remember actually guys from the last week I mentioned that here we are having a strong support and right here as well and most likely what will gonna happen is we are going to see here a reversal happening for the euro usd and it happened finally on a friday night however that bullish momentum is not gonna last for a long time and if i'm not mistaken we can notice or sorry we can witness actually a strong reversal after this um, pullback happening and the euro usd is gonna continue its bearish momentum and continue falling more down until it hit this support right here so again right now we are on the weekly candles so let's check down to the four hour chart and if uh, we are looking at the four hour chart we can see that we had here a previous support level and here we are having another attempt of this support and this support has been breaking out to become a new resistance so most likely what will gonna happen after this strong bullish momentum here is the euro usd it's gonna continue rising more up all the way until it hit this resistance and from that point after creating the resistance number two euro usd is gonna continue the bearish momentum and it's gonna continue falling therefore let's go to the daily candles and let me just state to you that we are having here a good entry for start shorting the euro usd actually what i'm going to say here 
or what I'm going to give you is to do to the entry point to start shorting the euro USD right on this previous support level and you can expect in the worst cases for the euro USD to continue rising a little bit only to hit this resistance uh, but definitely from that point it's gonna continue the bearish momentum so we can expect for the euro USD to go against our entry point for almost uh, 28 pips or 27 pips only uh, the sell point is gonna be given right here sell for the euro USD on 1.08913 and let's see where we can keep our trade running we can keep our trade running all the way until it hit let me just be sure alright so it's gonna hit this previous what I'm looking at actually is right here let me just show you where I'm looking at I'm looking at this previous support right here this this tiny support here is actually gonna be our target because most likely if the pair is gonna reverse from this this previous resistance it's gonna keep going falling down to this support level right here and we are talking about <coughs> 135 pips hopefully in profit therefore this is our take profit level take profit level is gonna be on 1.07584 hopefully we'll get them all and hopefully the euro usd is gonna be loyal to this analysis please always keep your eyes on the news pay attention to the news it always can change any analysis given because all these analysis are given based on technical view and the news or the high impact news can always change any change any technical analysis let's check right now the pound usd now the pound usd let me just get rid of all these lines all right let's check now what's happening on the uh, pound USD actually I was not expecting from the pound USD to break out from these support attempts here and I was hoping for the reversal and what happened is that the pair has broken out from this support reversing on this support instead of this one here uh, the bearish momentum was really stronger uh, the fine the, then finally the pair has reversed on this support let's check now the daily candles so on the daily candles we can see that we are having here a very strong support level happened on april 2019 this support kept its position as a support for attempt number actually we're having here attempt number one here two and right now three meaning the bullish momentum most likely is gonna keep going on but not for so long if i'm not mistaken uh, we can expect from the pound usd to continue rising all the way up until it hit this resistance level right here most likely from this bullish momentum here and from the from the uh, from the price action we can expect the pair to actually not reversing on this resistance most likely what will gonna happen is it's gonna break out from this resistance going up to this level here of the resistance and from there it seems like the pair is gonna fall down because if we look at the bigger image we can see that we are having here a strong resistance zone look at that so the pair could not even break out from this level since more than two years we can see in, in may 2018 the pair has made one attempt here on this resistance then finally on january 2020 the pair has made the next attempt here and therefore we can expect from the pound usd to actually continue falling as i said it's not seems it's, it doesn't seem to be happening right away most likely the pair is gonna go to this resistance attempt making one at final attempt on the resistance and then it's gonna go down now the reason i'm saying that the pair is gonna go up here is because of this strong bullish price action actually this is one of the price actions i'm going to explain in the price action video which i'm very aware i have taken so much time to make believe me it's not easy at all it's not easy at all to make that video I have already made more than five attempts of making that video sometimes I'm just reviewing and I'm reviewing it and it's not really clear I'm not feeling uh, satisfied with it sometimes it's really so long more than one hour it was one hour and nine minutes I mean that's like watching a movie it's so much long therefore I'm really trying my best to squeeze the video to shorting the information and how in same time um, just putting all my thoughts on it i mean 
it's not easy at all believe me i know i have taken so much time on that video and it's really uh, killing me anyway this price action here this price action indicating a strong uh, bullish reversal and the pair most likely gonna break out as i said from this resistance level and gonna continue rising up to this resistance once the candle reaches this, this resistance level we are going to wait another price action indicating if we can start shorting the pound usd or if the pair is gonna continue rising again more up we cannot be sure now we have to wait to see the price action once the candle reach this resistance so uh, the pound usd right now is gonna be good for the buy let me just be sure right here if i'm not mistaken let me just go to the four hour chart on the four hour chart wait we can see actually more from the pound usd yes that seems actually a lot better okay like that yes perfect fantastic so for the pound usd we can start buying the pound usd on the level 1.29430 and keep your trade running as i mentioned before until the candle hit this previous resistance right here let me just be safe right here that is more safe actually because we are having here the peak of the resistance and we can look for almost 173 pips of profit uh, that's very convenient i mean it is below the target because our target is actually laying right here that is actually our target and uh, therefore uh, I'm not gonna select it because it's uh, really far so I'm gonna select this one here as my take profit level so we can look for uh, take profit level 1.31179 hopefully we will get them all let's now look at the AUD USD now the AUD USD as I mentioned has breaking out from this resistance uh, sorry from the support uh, if I'm not mistaken, this uh, entry was really valid. We can see I have the sell order here and this signal of the AUDUSD was valid and actually the pair has reversed exactly from the given level. Now what's happening next? We can look for the bigger picture. Let's go to the daily candle and we can see that the pair, let me just go to the weekly. Oh my God. Let me just uh, get rid of all of these lines. And let's see the pair has reversed exactly on this previous resistance right here it's tiny resistance remember we are on the weekly candles therefore yes we can see that the pair has reversed right from this resistance now what's happening is that after the breaking out from the support level right here we can expect from the from the AUD USD to retest this broken support level and after that it's gonna continue the fall uh, AUD USD is uh, not doesn't seem to have good days therefore uh, i'm gonna give the signal to start shorting the aud usd right on this level on zero points one second zero point six 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 four five it is exactly on the level of that previous support level right here and right here and let's just set the attack profit level uh, just to be safe, I'm going to set this previous support level right here to be your take profit level 0 0.65871. That is our take profit level. Hopefully the AUDUSD is going to be loyal to this analysis. Let's now look at the USD CAD. So the USD CAD is still in this uh, uh, resistance zone. It's still ranging on it and until now it didn't break through. However, I believe that the USD CAD is now facing a lot of support attempts right here. We can see it exactly right here. We can see that we are having here a support level. Uh, it's not noticeable that the U USD CAD has been ranging for almost the whole week on this resistance zone. Therefore, I believe that after the reversal from this resistance look at let's look at that let me just show you the resistance zone right here actually it is more it's like here like that so the pair has made so many attempts on this resistance zone however uh, seems like it's gonna fall down but i don't think it's gonna fall down for a long time because the trend is actually going up 
the general movement is going up therefore we are expecting that from the USD CAD to actually rise above this resistance in the end and it's gonna reach actually this resistance level right here so the question is what should we do with the USD CAD USD CAD seems like it's gonna actually fall down before, below the support level after reversing <coughs> sorry <coughs> after making four attempts on this resistance and it's very uh, remarkable to see that the pair has reversed on the support attempts every single time the pair was not able to break out uh, below the support level and it just continued its bullish momentum therefore we can look for the USD CAD to start buying it right on the support level and just to be more accurate let me just be accurate as much as possible um, let me just look I'm just looking actually at the left to find the strong support attempts it's actually if I'm not mistaken it's just right here that is the strongest support attempt we can see it right here and right here and right here and here as well and finally here so uh, most likely what will gonna happen that the USD CAD is gonna actually fall down hitting this previous support and then gonna continue the rise so what you do, do what you should do with the USD CAD don't do anything right now just wait for the pair to fall down to actually hit this previous support attempt we're having here attempt number one of the support wait for the pair to actually reach this support attempt to create support number two then start buying the USD CAD again so the buy for the USD CAD is gonna be given this day, uh, this time on the level 1.31561 and let's see how many pips we can expect from that actually that's a lot so I'm going to set this as my take profit level right here so we can look for 112 pips I'm just being realistic as much as possible uh, some signals analysis uh, services or some traders actually giving unrealistic <coughs> unrealistic signals for almost 400 pips this one like I can give the signal for 386 pips that's not really realistic realistic at all and it's not safe to keep the trade running all that time therefore uh, the most safe choice I have is to give you the signal to start buying the USD CAD from the support level and then keep your trade running until the next or the nearest resistance again this is daily candles it might take some time for the candle maybe one or two days maybe three days for the market to reach the support level before the, the buy order is valid so uh, we need to be patient with the USD CAD it might take really some time for entering the buy signal let's take a look now at the USD GPY of course the USD GPY has made this strong bullish momentum of course again um, if I'm not mistaken because of the news however no I don't think so that was not Friday this is daily candle yes I'm wrong sorry um, I'm not really so sure about the reason for this jump of the USD GPY uh, I need to be sure about it I'm not to be honest with you I didn't uh, check this one before recording anyway what we can see here is that the USD GPY has made this very strong bullish momentum uh, breaking out from this uh, resistance this was obviously based on some news obviously the pair has made in one day actually not in two days no in one in one day it jumped for 100 and almost 70 pips then in the next day it jumped for almost 100 pips I mean that is a lot and the USD CPY in the end has broken out from this resistance so what's, hap what's gonna happen next um, as I said this is uh, made because of some news and I don't think the USD GPY is gonna keep this uh, momentum for a long time I mean it's gonna reverse at some point I believe it has already reversed from this resistance yes it has already reversed as we can see from this uh, resistance therefore we can what we can do right now is start buying the USD GPY again after retesting this broken resistance right here definitely yes uh, it's not recommended to short the USD GPY at all uh, please don't do that most likely it's gonna take some time from the USD GPY to fall down here we need to be sure because this bullish momentum is very strong so therefore 
uh, you have to be patient also with the euro, with the pound USD with the USD GPY and please wait for it to go down all the way until it hit this previous resistance that is gonna be the best actually of, uh, order for us to do which is the buy that's our best shot for the USD GPY the safest one and the one we can actually rely on because as I said this uh, momentum of the USD GPY was based on the news so we need to see what will gonna happen don't rush on the USD GPY please wait for it give it some time let's see what will gonna happen it might actually reverse and go up here on this support here it might happen however I cannot give the signal to start buying the USD GPY now it's not gonna be uh, safe at all therefore please wait for the USD GPY to reach this previous resistance and let me just tell you that we can start buying the USD GPY on the level 110.304 if you want to start shorting the USD GPY, let me tell you something. We can short it actually if we see the pair has made another attempt of this resistance because this resistance here is very strong. Most likely the pair, as I said, is going to fall down. We might expect on Monday opening for the pair to actually make one candle here going up to this resistance, make one final attempt before actually start the fall. So selling the USD GPY here is not that bad idea. However, please be careful. Again, I'm advising you sell if you want. I will say that sell if you want on the level 112.165. Again, that the reason I'm giving this signal is because I don't advise it. However, I know some traders, they really like to take the risks and therefore I'm giving them this signal to sell if they want on this resistance again it is much more safe to start buying on this previous resistance right here on 110.304 let's take a look at the USD CHF the USD CHF seems like it's, it has made the reversal from this resistance and right now it's ready for the buy let me just declare that the pair after reversing from this resistance sorry from here uh, the pair is gonna fall down to create a support number two because we are having here a support number one and the pair most likely is gonna create support number two from that point we are having here a support level and here and here as well therefore uh, entering the buy order on support number two is gonna be our best shot and we can keep the trade running all the way until it hit this resistance level again so we can look for almost 90 pips of profit hopefully we're gonna get them all let me just write for you we can start buying the euro USD on 0 0.97515 and keep your trade running all the way until it hit this previous resistance right here on the level this is like profit on the level 0 0.983 uh, eight five hopefully the market is gonna be uh, loyal and we are gonna make some good profits from this signal finally let's check the gold which is actually really surprising me how it was able to break through this resistance and by the way this resistance has been there for a really long time uh, the gold has breaking this resistance here which has been created on 13 January 2013 so since more than seven years the gold was not able to break from this resistance and therefore it just continued the rise so th the question is what should we do next with the gold uh, the gold is actually gonna make a reverse a small reversal right here let me just check not yet okay uh, because on the daily candles we can see that we are having here a previous support level let me just zoom in to show you exactly right here this one here this previous support here uh, most likely the gold is gonna reverse on this previous uh, support and of course it's not gonna re reverse for a long time let's go to the daily candles for our chart I'm just trying to find the best level to start again buying the gold and if I'm not mistaken wait a minute let me just take a look uh, let me just take a look at the left to find if this is the best level to start again yes definitely look at the left we can see here 
that we are having a strong support let me just show you uh, okay right here like that so we're having here really strong support level most likely what will gonna happen on daily candles uh, look at that we are having here already uh, resistance number one now the gold seems like it's gonna reverse on the resistance number two gonna fall all the way until it hit this previous support and from that support level it's gonna be good again to start buying the gold therefore let's go to the current date uh, uh, if I'm not mistaken the gold is gonna make one more little attempt to hit this previous uh, resistance and from that level we can start shorting the gold again short it like a scalping for long for small t for short term only and from that point right here we're gonna start buying the gold again so let me just uh, make two signals for the gold this week we can start sell for short time for short time only uh, on the level 1651.17 keep your trade running for almost 256 pips of profit hopefully take profit on uh, 1624 you know something please be careful when you are shorting the gold um, I'm thinking to change the take profit level actually I think it's much better yes let me just change it the sell for short time should be changed and to be safer more safe uh, sorry uh, 1638.36 that's actually better level so it's more realistic because actually it's gonna give us good profit and we're gonna be safe however we just need to see that the market is actually going up here on Monday opening hitting this uh, entry level for the sell then falling down to this previous support level right here um, let me see let me show you this one here the small week here is our support number one and we can expect from the pair if it's gonna make one small bullish candle to reverse right on the support and then falling down to create a support number two again the best level to start buying the gold is gonna be as I said before on this previous support however we have to wait to see what will gonna happen with the gold I'm just trying to be safe uh, I'm trying to be safe uh, to the maximum and I'm trying to keep your money safe also my friends I don't want to give you unrealistic signals uh, we have to wait with, to see what will gonna happen with the gold that is my signal for the very short time uh, just like 121 pips of profit also please be careful when you are buying the uh, selling the gold to be honest it's not really safe option to start shorting the gold I'm just telling you that we are just gonna scalp the gold after it hit this resistance keep it for short time only to this support level right here that's all don't uh, do more than that with the gold uh, please wait until the midweek analysis video we're gonna discuss the gold more in depth however uh, that is all for this week. I really hope it's gonna be good and profitable week for everyone and in the end I hope that was informative to you and I would like to thank you for watching